Hi guys, how's everyone doing today? Thanks so much for hanging out with me. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Zita and on my channel I'll be sharing a variety of DIYs with you such as thrift store makeovers, upcycles, I'll be doing some room makeovers and thrift flips for resale, some home decorating and I'm also going to share some recipes with you guys every now and again. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button and also click that notification bell. That way YouTube will notify you when I upload a new video. The more DIY friends we have, the better. And you can also follow me over on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and Etsy at Oakwell Home. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a simple homemade chalk paint recipe that you can use when you run out of your brand chalk paint or you want to use something that's less expensive. So let's get started and I will share with you how I made this simple recipe. So guys, here's what you'll need to make your homemade chalk paint recipe. Plaster of Paris, which I picked up at my local Home Depot. I have some um, eggshell interior white paint here. You can also use flat if you'd like. Uh, this is what I had on hand, so this is what I'm going to use today. And I have some water here in a bottle that I keep on my uh, craft desk. And I have a measuring cup for one cup and a third cup. I have a fork to mix it with. Now, if you have an old blender or um, an old magic bullet or something like that, you can mix it up in, in that. But I don't have that, so I'm going to use this fork to mix it up. And I have an empty jar um, with a... Uh, uh, airtight screw on lid so it'll last a little longer. This recipe doesn't last a real long time uh, and I'm going to test that to see how long it lasts so I'm going to be making a cup uh, for this recipe and this should uh, get me through a few projects. So I'm just going to open my uh, plaster of Paris here and Kind of like a, a milk jug. It says here, push at the circles. So, kind of like one of those milk cartons. <laughs> so, I'm going to use a third cup of Placer Paris. open this all the way up and get my scoop in here. It's a little messy guys. Just going to level that out so it's a third cup. Now, getting this in here without spilling it all over. So I'm just going to put this into my empty mason jar here. And now I'm going to pour a third cup of water and I'm going to add a little bit at a time. And you can make it as thick or thin as you'd like. mix that up so there's no more lumps so it's smooth
So this is what this mixture is looking like, guys. Probably kind of like the consistency of yogurt. Now you can make yours thinner if you'd like or thicker. I've seen some make it like kind of like a mayonnaise kind of consistency. So mine is a little thinner, so I'm going to try that. So I used about half of this third cup. I don't want it any thinner than this. So I'm going to try that with the one cup of uh, paint. And these are old uh, measuring cups that I have here. So I won't be using these for food anymore. Need a little bit more here. I always use my, some mason jars for uh, my uh, paint instead of getting it from the, the um, paint can. Smaller one to pour it in here. So this is about a cup guys. Now I'm going to pour that in here with the Placer Paris and water mixture. Giving that a good mix. Okay, so I've got that mixed up. So let's try this out, guys. I've got a little piece here that I've already painted uh, black. So I want to distress this piece. So I ran out of my, uh, I did uh, have some um, Rust Oleum chalk paint that I use and I ran out. This is what I was using and it's it's gone. Uh, so I thought I'm going to try my own recipes. This chalk paint, or any chalk paint I find is so expensive. So uh, I do want to try some other types of chalk paints as well. Um, different brands um, like Dixie Bell, Dixie Bell and DIY chalk paint. So if any of you guys have used those brands, let me know in the um comments what you thought of those brands but I do want to make my own as well so when I run out I always have a good chalk paint recipe for myself as well and let me know in the comments guys if you guys have made your own chalk paint recipe and if you have made this particular recipe with the plaster of Paris I see a bunch of recipes online and I am going to try some other ones in the future as well so Stay tuned, consider subscribing, and, and I'll be testing out some different chalk paint recipes in the future as well. So let's try this out. seems to be going on like chalk paint. So this is going to need a couple of coats. Now guys, I've used a mason jar here. If you're using a paintbrush like this, it's a little hard to get in there. It still will, but so if you have a, my, a wider mount uh, jar, it probably would work better for getting your uh, big paintbrushes in there. Okay guys, so I'm going to let this dry and uh, come back and apply another coat and then I'm going to try the distressing on it. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Okay guys, this is the first coat of paint. 
it's looking like chalk paint. So I'm going to apply the second coat now. And make sure you wrap your brush in between coats so the brush doesn't dry out. Okay guys, so I'll let this second coat dry and see how it turns out with uh, how it's looking after the second coat dries. Be back in a little bit. So this is after two coats guys. So I think I'm going to give it one more coat and that should be good. And I'll let that coat dry and then I'll uh, do some distressing and see how how the distressing works out with the homemade chalk paint. Okay, I'll be back after this is dry. So this is after the third coat, guys. Everything looks good. Feels like chalk paint. Looks like chalk paint. So let's try distressing it now. I have a wet cloth here. I'm going to try wet distressing it. So it is distressing guys. So if you want some heavy distressing, go a little heavier. If you want it lighter, just do a lighter touch with the wet cloth. This is what it's looking like to stress up guys so like I said go a little heavier on your cloth uh, if you want it heavily distressed like it is right here if you want a lighter distressing just go a little lighter on your cloth okay so now I'm just gonna add a transfer to this what we have here and these are the IOD transfers what do you think I'll go with this one right here. Uh, no, I'm going to go with this one. It's longer. use a little bit of tape to keep that in place center it up here and you're gonna pull this bottom piece out
And these transfers come with a um, little scraper here with the package to adhere it. So you're just gonna burnish it. Pull it up slowly, guys. If, it, guys. if it's not adhering, just kind of press down on it some more. Then you're just going to take this paper that it came off and just kind of burnish it down. So it applied nicely to this homemade chalk recipe so guys I'm gonna stage this up for you with some lavender and uh, show you some pictures but in the meantime um, if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing and click that notification bell uh, so YouTube will notify you when I post new videos because as I said before I'm gonna try making some other different chalk paint recipes as well and I'm also going to use some different colors when I make those recipes as well. And uh, this is some other items I'm going to try using this uh, homemade chalk paint recipe on. And um, also this tray. So I guess that make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And you can see what I do with these items coming up in some uh, near videos uh, so let me know in the comments guys if you guys have tried this recipe and um, let me know what you thought of this project and I'll stage it up for you guys now and show you some pictures of the final product Thanks so much for watching, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye. Here's what it looks like, guys. So I say this chalk paint recipe is a win. I'll be using it on some future projects so once again subscribe and click that notification bell to see some more projects like this and some new chalk paint recipes hope you enjoyed this video guys have a great night see you in the next video bye